We are back, and we're better than ever! The first challenge is actually gonna come up right now! Are you guys ready? Come on! Who's ready? I see you trickling in, coming back into the game. Let me see the oldest photo that you have. The oldest photo you have right now. All right, now this photo is going to be even older than the previous older photo that you had. Okay, it just gets older and older as the game goes on. Apologies again for that HQXers. Thank you for bearing with me and the HQ community. What is a great game without problems to fix along the way? But we're at HQX. We are committed to making this the greatest game yet. All right, guys. Photo upload time is almost complete. Let's see what you got. All right, it's time to be voting, and these are excellent. More submissions than the first time, actually. Close to three, over 3,000 submissions. Actually, glad we had that reboot now. Fantastic. I'm seeing pictures of pasta. That's disgusting. What? Who wants pasta that old? That's nasty. But okay, whatever. It's all good. You do you. We got a lot of good yearbook photos. I'm <laughs> thrilled about that because you know what? I would have probably done that, too. You ever look back in a yearbook and you're like, I just don't remember going to school with that person? You ever have that experience? Just me? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, okay. Oh, my God. It's so cute. A lot of, like, old grandparents, I'm guessing. Excellent. Medals, even. Old pictures. I like some people just taking pictures of picture frames. <laughs> that is Pixception right there. Pixceptional. Alrighty, then. Some athletic photos. Okay. Great submissions here. And I only said, oh my God, because I was so ecstatic to be able to start this game over again. All right, guys, voting time's over. And yes, I do move my hands a lot. Get used to it, because I'm pumped. All right, let's see who the winners are for the round. Oldest photo winners in third place. We have got Send It Now with 618 likes. Hand on the shoulder. Excellent portraiture, my friends. Send it now. Excellent, so monsieur. Our second place winner is none other than Fraggy Fraggle Roots with 628 likes. Love that picture. Very old indeed. And our final first place winner is none other than Super Shelly with 703 likes. Super Shelly, you've won the round. Excellent job. That is a cute baby in the middle of, I'm assuming, your great, great, great grandparents. Excellent submission. Moving on. Next challenge is seen on the street. We're looking for something that you literally have seen on the street. It could be anything. I'm not talking about Billy. Shout out Billy Eichner. But, you know, like this cute dog right here or maybe like a, a cool art piece like this. Maybe it's even a weird street sign or strange people or weird animals. I don't know. Let's see what you got for seen on the street. Go. For New Yorkers out there, this should be an easy one. A lot of bizarre objects on the street, I will tell you. Bizarre indeed. Just a few seconds remaining in the upload for Scene on the Street. All right, guys. It's time. Let's be voting. Close to 3,000 submissions yet again. Excellent participation, HQXers. Some, a lot of cars I'm seeing. That's really brilliant. Yeah, yeah, never seen a car on the street before. I'm kidding. I love it. The scissors, that scares me. I would run if I saw that. M&M's, love that. Not just because my name, Matthew. All right. Love M&M's, though. M&M's and Junior Mints, my favorite candy. What's your favorite candy, HQXers? Let me know in the comment. Dog? Who just sees... <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. A dog on the street. Okay. That's sad. Shout out Anna Roisman. Cutest dog ever. Just saw it. Outstanding dog. Wow. Okay. Over 3,100 submissions. For things you've seen on the street. That's a lot of things you've seen on the street. Wow. Excellent. I, I see helmets. I see trains. I see a lot of pictures of roads. That's a 
common thing to see on the street, a road. Okay, interesting. All right, guys, over. It's time to be seeing who has won it all. Let's see right now. Third place winner, we got Lance Uppercut, 33 with 412 legs. Look at that dog. You just saw that dog on the street. Our second place winner is coming up right now. Second place, it's a man with a giant lion dog. Send it now, 458 likes. If I saw that on the street, I would be running away. That is frightening. Okay, and first place winner is none other than HLS7698. 620 likes. A baby in a dinosaur mask. Okay, excellent, excellent submission, my friend. Moving on to the next round. Next up, delicious looking food. I know you guys have some pretty Instagram worthy pics of this in your camera roll. Maybe something like, I don't know, this? Look at those pancakes. Show me what you got. Bonus points for gluten free options. Not actually, I am the gluten free guy though. And you can make my tummy rumble with delicious looking food. Let's see what you got. I know exactly what I would submit. My mom, she makes the best cookies ever. Ever! Big fat cookies, actually. They are delicioso. I'm a cookie guy. I'm a cookie fanatic. I also like tacos. Those are really good, too. Yeah. Any, any, have, uh, any food Instagrammers in the HQX community? I'm not just talking about my sister. What's up? How you doing, Nina? Good to see you. All right, delicious-looking food. Any fans of iCarly? Remember the spaghetti tacos? Oh, my God. I would eat those. And yes, that is an extremely young person reference. I do realize that. All right, guys, voting time. It's almost up right now. Over 3,100 submissions again. Excellent meatballs. I'm seeing dairy-free milk. Okay. Red, <laughs> Red Bull. Keep that energy up. College kids, they love their Red Bull. Hershey syrup, chocolate-covered strawberries, omelets, steaks. These are good-looking foods. Somebody just submitted a peace sign. I didn't realize that was a food. Okay, interesting. You learn new things every day in this game. That's why I love it. Cookie dough. M&M's. Thank you for submitting the M&M's, by the way. Great candy. Great candy. Over 3,200 submissions. I think that's the most we've had for this game tonight. Excellent. Keep on submitting, people. It's you that makes this game come alive. Donuts, cupcakes. I'm a sweet guy. I, I, I'm a sweets guy. So not a sweet guy, sweets guy. So, uh, all right, guys. It's now time to crown a winner. Third place, we got the cookies. You were listening. Daleen Jr., 3, 3N88 with 392 likes. Congratulations, bowl of cookies. Love that option. Second place winner, Chef Steve, 14, 434 likes. Even the name is great for the prompt. Chef Steve with the cupcakes. Love cupcakes. And April Cash, you are our first place winner with 563 likes. That is a delicious looking cake. Look at those strawberries. It's like a perfect French chef just designed that. Was it the chef guy from before? I don't know. April Cash, congratulations. You've won that round of HQX. You must all be foodies because those were genuinely moving pictures. But moving on to our next challenge. This one seems pretty easy because I feel like people who don't take pictures, who doesn't do that on vacation? Right? We all need pics on vacation. Pics or didn't happen. Your next challenge is to find me a picture of your favorite vacation pic. I want to see your favorite vacation pic. It could be anywhere. It could be somewhere sunny, somewhere cold in your house. I just want to see you on vacay. Every time I host this game, it feels like a vacation. So this is my favorite vacation picture right now. That's right. It's my like producer pictures. Gab knows exactly yes, what I'm talking about. How much? Okay. Yeah. Photo uploads complete, and it's time to be voting, people. I like how people are actually just submitting pictures not from the camera roll, as if to say, 
Yeah, I'm on vacation right now. Embrace it. Over 2,600 submissions. That's kind of a new thing I like to say. Playing HQX, this is a vacation from life. That's why we play HQ games. It's fun. It's to celebrate. It's a party, people. Love these pictures. And I love this. I think some of these are definitely stock photos. They're too good to be true. And if they are, I'd like you guys to invite me on these vacations because these look insane. Okay. People jumping into the sun. Okay. Good. Good. Jumpster. Ugh. That's a good one. My favorites are the ones that people are submitting pictures of the picture frame. It's very meta. I enjoy those. Those are great. It's like you were really prepared for it. I also love the people that are just... Sub <laughs> Someone just submitted a painting of a cruise ship. Interesting. Wonder what happened on that cruise. No pictures of Titanic, the film. That would be definitely no one's favorite vacation. Yikes. All right, guys. Voting time. It's over. It's time to crown a winner so they can go on vacation after these 2,600 submissions for the round. Who's it going to be? Only three of you. Our third place winner, we're rafting. We got Goofy Mom 4, 321 likes. Congratulations, Goofy Mom 4. And uh, it's, uh, it's getting too wild over there. Second place winner is coming up. We got K Tobin Video with 436 likes. That's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, right? I really hope it is, or else that'd be extremely embarrassing. And congratulations. And our first place winner is Ultimate Coder with 497 likes. Been to the mountaintop. Okay, love to see it. Ultimate Coder, 497 likes. Hope you did some coding up on that mountain, my friend. All right, and I did just clap for you. Those picks from the vacay were so nice. Maybe want to just buy a ticket somewhere just one way and never return. But if I did that, then I couldn't come finish this game with you, so I'm going to hold off on that because it's now time for the fifth challenge. This is the last challenge before our finalists are revealed, and this is all about you and showing off your stuff. I want a picture of you looking at your best you. You know, all confident, dressed nice, hair perfectly quaffed. Show me your dressed to impress photo. It's correct for his fun fact. Every time I host this show, that is exactly what I'm doing. So you've only seen me in my best state, and I feel good about it. I really do. And I want to see you. I want to see how good you look. I'm excited to see these. Are we wearing suits? Are we wearing sweatpants? What is our cash business attire? If so, maybe you're not into the business attire. I don't know. Bomber jackets. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> so someone, someone just submitted a just just drew a face on a potato. That is that is definitely dressing to impressing. People just putting socks on, feet on the desk. Okay, I like the suit. Okay, if you did people that are putting on suits, if this is in real time, you should win something extra because that is fantastic. Real time photos right there. Loving the suit pictures. People dressed in their army. Uh, service uniforms, thank you for your service. People wear a lot of suits. This is great. A lot of suits. T-shirts, family photos, stock photos of dresses, bridal gowns. You guys are all over the place with over 2,600 submissions. That's a lot of people dressing well. And I'm proud of you guys. I'm here for you, and I'm proud of you. I see a mixture of people with beards, some not clean shaven, some are clean shaven. It's all over the place. It's up to you guys. All right, 2600, and here we are. It's time to see the final three winners of this round. Let's see who was the most dressed or best. Fun fact I actually won best dressed in high school, my senior year of high school. Yeah. I did, and I feel good about it. All right, third place, wedding pick, Lindy Lou, 321 likes. I do, in fact, think you deserve to win this round. Fantastic. Second place winner, Lisi5, 324 likes. Adorable photo. That is so cute. Little Red Riding Hood. And our first place winner is SK Fountain, 333 likes. Yes, I do again. Congratulations. Do you take this man to be the winner of this HQX round? I don't know. But congratulations, my friend SK Fountain. You have won the final round before the final round. And now moving on to that final round. We started with thousands of you, and now we only have six 
remaining. Before I reveal who those players are, let me tell you about the final challenge. This challenge is called Natural Ombre. Not Ombre, Ombre. It's basically just a gradient, but as seen in nature. It's like a landscape or a sunset picture. Now, something along the lines of, of this right here, the ocean or the blue sky. Shout out Andy from Headspace. The blue sky. And does that make sense? Let's see what you got. All right, now that's all explained, let's introduce our top six players who will be competing in this Natural Ombre Challenge. At least take a picture, and everybody else, you sit tight as we'll need you to vote on the finalist pictures. So let's take a look at who the finalists are, shall we? Let's see what we got. We got April Cash, Send It Now, K Tobin Video, Aaron Soul, To Do Charmed, and HLS 7698. And that is, these are our finalists, people. And let's see who is going to take it all. Let's get this photo upload going right now. I'm excited to see what we got here. Photo upload is coming for the finalists. How's this game going to conclude? We've been through so much tonight. Dressing well. Vacation. What do we have? Let's find out. I'm just shaking my shoulders because I'm just waiting for you guys to submit and I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Voting time. It is voting time. But first, I just got to see these picks. I mean, come on. Look at these pictures right here. Natural ombre. Send it now. Look at that picture. That beautiful sunset mixed colors. Wowzers. April Cash, K Tobin Video. These are great submissions. These are really good. Like, actually, they're really good submissions. The sunset. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. And these are... Social media worthy sharing submissions. I hope you share these on social. Tag hashtag HQX. Send them to me. I'd love to see them. More. These are great. You guys are like expert photographers. Look at that aperture. Look at that depth of field. Rule of thirds. I've been reading up. That's right. All right, guys. It's voting time. Here we go. Now it's time to vote. Let's see who's going to win it all. Who is going to be crowned tonight's winner of HQX? So many great submissions. We started with thousands. There's going to be one. One of you is going to be lucky enough to have that pride. And it is now time to unveil our winner. All right, guys. The winner of tonight's HQX is coming up right now. All right, result is in, and it's Aaron Sol with over 2,680 likes. Aaron Sol, you, my friend, have won HQX with the sunset, the family photo, the colors, the car. You did it. You won it. Aaron Sol, congratulations again on winning tonight's game of HQX. Put that on your resume, your LinkedIn, whatever you want. And by the way, be swiping. Make sure to be swiping and sharing those photos on social media so we can all see who the winner was and what his pictures were or her pictures. Okay, guys, congrats again to our winner tonight. You won. As promised, I'm going to reveal all the challenges that are going to be in Sunday's game right here, right now, so you can prepare and maybe find some of those photos in your camera roll. You ready? Here they are, right now in order. Okay. You in a monochrome outfit, face in an inanimate object, Recreate the thinker statue, the knolling shot, money face again, and color wheel opposites. There you have it. Remember those. Get those in the brain for the next game of HQX. HQX is all about making a great impression, which is why I'd like to leave you all with an impression in the voice of Tim Gunn. All right, people, remember to share your submissions online. I've been your host, Matt Friend. You can follow me here, all over social. Come join me on Sunday for another game of HQX. I hope to see you then. Otherwise, have a great night, everyone, and make it work. Goodbye. Tim Gunn is out. Thank you.